Hello everybody, it's Richard here again. I wanted to review Armand's replay of Danzig. And uh, you'll see that he was very ambitious, and he accomplished quite a bit on this map. And I believe there are some areas of improvement as well. Okay. Uh, let's see, what did he buy? I think he has an SE mountain unit that he said was key to his success. Um, I don't think you need it. The extra attack is nice, but it's probably not needed. So he has four artillery and three tactical bombers. So he bought a tactical bomber and he upgraded a unit to a pioneer. And he's already over-strengthening. So that's where all of his prestige went. I don't necessarily think that's right. Oh, he also has another tank. I don't think you need to over-strength on this map. Oops, there we go. Yeah, he's making sure he kills the cavalry. You'll see Armand believes in trucks as well. This is something I thought about doing, but I didn't trust the artillery, but it worked pretty well here. This is definitely better than what I did. Because the RNG is reduced. Well, I don't know if it's better than what I did. That's that's up in the air. Because you'll see he makes inefficient moves later. So when I saw when I did this map, I pushed this out uh turn two. He's slow down here. Or did I push it out turn two? I don't remember. I did not know this would happen. Because that makes it easier to deal with that infantry unit. It might be better than what I did, we'll see. So my problem with his approach is he allows the TKS to come out and you can't surrender it. So, it's awkward. So he hasn't gotten a surrender yet. <laughs> So my only issue with his approach is he'll get more prestige from X's, but he's not going to get as much prestige from Surrenders. And that was a mistake, because he should have seized the Hex right here. I've never seen this tank come out like that. Is it because the hex is empty? 
Oh, okay. I bet it's because it moves first and this is an empty major hex. So if you look at my approach, it's just faster because... Well, it's more surrender, so that wasn't even a surrender. He, he does take out the artillery, which is nice. But notice, it's on turn 4 and he still doesn't have a surrender. So I would have surrendered this tank on that hex. Yeah, so my problem here is there's too much chaos and not enough controlled killing. And he gained 50 more prestige, but... Or no, he gained 75 more prestige, but... He hasn't gotten a single surrender. And he probably reloaded a lot on this map. He's baiting to take the S to come out um, because the infantry's on an open hex. But again, this is really sloppy, I think, in the south. And it's because he, he went after... He's wasting his time on these three objectives. Has he even had a... I don't think he's had a surrender yet. And notice that this annoying tank is still hanging around, which I don't like. We need to bait it out. And then I don't know why he did this when... He could have attacked with the Pioneer, so it wouldn't move out, then hit it with artillery, and finish it off with the mountain unit. But it is passive, so it won't take replacements. So... This cavalry can go here, right? I find it weird. The tanks found spotting on the artillery, but the cavalry didn't hit it. I think he's had one or one surrender. 
Yeah, he's he he missed the surrender on this. I mean, unless his plan is he's going for kills, but I don't think you need to be this aggressive on kills this early. Yeah, if you don't find a way to deal with that tank, it's going to do damage to you. It's very annoying. Yeah, his approach is much more chaotic. Because there's all these beautiful surrender spots that just racks up a ton of prestige. Oh, this is like his second surrender, I think. It's a good one. <clears throat> so you're looking at two surrenders, and I think I got, what was it, like 14 or something on my Danzig, and that's a crazy amount of prestige. So there's one, two, three, four, five units left. I think that's a lot for the final turn. You probably want that down to three. But this is very weak, which is good. And I also didn't have the problem of a unit being bought. Third surrender. So now he has to deal with this annoying anti-tank. Yeah, the SE did really well, that SE Mountain unit, that high soft attack. And then he had to pay the price for, he probably reloaded for that, because those can really hurt your Panzer ones. So he didn't get these two, but so he had 681 at the end. I'm curious how much prestige I had. Uh, oops. I'm way down here somewhere. that one so I had 456 where's my units okay. so how much damage three I took almost no damage too because I think he gives elite replacement so so I only had 456, so he had a lot more than me. Interesting. But, let's see, what did he buy? He upgraded to a Pioneer, and then he bought another Stuka. And... 
Where's my flames? I think I brought two level bombers for this map, right? I brought a Stuka and a level bomber. I wonder if this is the right... Uh... I wonder if this is the right Danzig. Because I thought I had more than 456. Um... Try that one. I had four fifty six. Well, that's interesting. So he definitely had a lot more prestige than me because he had over six hundred, but more RNG. So part of what drove that is he got these three. I wonder how he had more prestige than me. Because he like did all that overstrength. Uh, and I must have made up a lot of prestige later because I had more prestige than him in the end, so I'm a little confused. Oh, he's at uh Oh, he doesn't have that much more. I had 456. Or maybe. Huh. Did he really have that much more prestige? So let's add it up 380, 50, 150, 200, plus 75. It's 275. Wow. He really did have, he had 275 more. He had over 600. I'm curious because later on, he really falls behind on Prestige. How much did he have at the start? Oh, let's go forward. He had, okay, that's one difference. I was basically bankrupt. Like, I think I had almost no Prestige. So he has, he has over 100 Prestige. I'm just a little confused. Because the 75 prestige that he got shouldn't be that much over me. And I got so much surrender prestige too. Anyway, that that's this is this scenario. Those are the improvements I could see, but he got a lot more prestige. Huh. Okay. The next map is exciting. I want to go over lots. Until next time, Richard out.